Fitzmagic, he's Mr. September. Ryan Fitzpatrick last night leading the Dolphins over the Jags. And it was pretty impressive there. That was one of those performances that you go, Tua couldn't do that. Ryan Fitzpatrick had a spectacular game. He caught a pass, runs for a touchdown, throws a couple of touchdown passes, completes 90% of his passes. He is Mr. September. Yes, McLovin. You can't say he caught a pass. He threw it at a defensive lineman, batted it right back to him. Did it count as a catch? <laughs> well, it's not like Nick Foles in the Super Bowl running the no, Philly it, special. No, it's not. But he did catch a pass. Okay. This see, this goes back to you went to Dartmouth. He went to <laughs> Harvard. This is Ivy on Ivy League crime. And who I look like I went to an Ivy League school. He does not. <laughs> Now, if you look at what he looked like when he first came into the league, he looked like he went to Harvard. Now, I don't, I don't know where, like what school. He looks like at Univ- University of Ho- Hawaii, maybe. Yes, uh, Paulie? 2018, Dan. Guess who was uh, player of the week for the NFC on offense the first two weeks of the season? Yeah, it'd be Fitzmagic. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah. He's Mr. September. What are his September numbers? I wonder if he, like who is the greatest September quarterback in recent memory. Chase Daniels, the greatest August quarterback. Yes, he's the greatest preseason quarterback, I think, of all time. <laughs> Do you think he sits around? Like when he's an old man, Chase Daniel goes, come here, grandkids. I'm going to tell you about how great I was in August. But but Grandpa, um, the games start in September. I know, but I was really good in August. He's got this huge house because he's made all this money being a backup quarterback. Huge pool. And uh, he's telling you about how he was Mr. August. Yes, McLovin. That's when you earn money. I, he's sitting on a, a throne of money telling his grandkids. And Ryan Fitzpatrick's got paid. I mean, he's, he's made money. But Ryan Fitzpatrick now, where he's got the, uh, the floral print shirt, he had the old school, the retro Adidas on, uh, chest hair fly, flowing out of there like the uh, ivy at Wrigley. Yes, he, he just found this amazing amount of swagger. That you're like, dang. And he's got it. this dude. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got it. There's just something about him. When, I, I don't think he takes it too seriously. And he's playing well. He knows that he's not going to be the quarterback for the Dolphins next year. But at least the starting quarterback. All right, what kind of poll questions do you have for well, me? Uh, this one is it's piping hot, Dan. Whose career would you rather have? Ryan Fitzpatrick, $71 million in the bank, 142 starts, 214 TDs, or Jay Cutler, $122 million, 153 starts, 227 TDs. So you got the expectations of Cutler never being met or Ryan Fitzpatrick exceeding expectations. I think I would rather be Ryan Fitzpatrick. I, I think he's, he's well-liked. Um, Jay Cutler has, is not. Vanderbilt's the Harvard, Harvard of the South, right? Yeah. The expectation level for Cutler was sky high. Um, yeah, I, I might be Ryan. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick has had moments. Jay Cutler hasn't had those moments where people are talking about your performance, like a standalone performance like Ryan Fitzpatrick has. The fact that he has played on six different teams that have beaten Jacksonville, <laughs> like you have to have a certain level of talent to be on six teams, to play and start on six teams, and then you're beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't know if anybody comes close to that record. Is there a quarterback who's played for at least six teams defeating one particular opponent? Yeah, Paul. Fitzpatrick and Cutler, their stats are almost exact. It's like 215 touchdowns for Fitzpatrick, 227 for Cutler, 33,000, 35,000 yards. By about November, he'll catch Jay Cutler for career stats. Yes, he But is being more liked by people worth $50 million? <laughs> I don't know that it is. I'd, I'll take the extra 50 mil in the bank and be like, okay, hate me. See you later. I'm going to be on my yacht. But it looks like Ryan Fitzpatrick is having more fun. Like, Jay Cutler never looks like he's having fun. Even with 50 more million dollars, it doesn't look like he's having fun. He doesn't have to look like he's having fun. Hmm. Maybe talk to his ex-wife about that. Yes, McLovin. Fitzpatrick did play in a lot of Florida, Texas. You know, state tax, he probably catches oh, up with okay. Jay Cutler. All right, thank you. 
Thank you, McLovin. Yes, Todd. And no one ever accused Fitzpatrick of being aloof or disinterested and not <laughs> caring what's going on during the course of a game. He's got, you know, the passion and the beard and everything. Every time you look at Jay Cutler, it's like, I throw an interception. Maybe he catches it. Maybe he doesn't. If he starts dating Christian Cavallari, then. Wow. Yeah. That's too soon. No, no. He's, but he's married. In fact, I think he said in his post-game press conference, he's like, hey, look, soak this in, but I'm taken. I'm married. <laughs> We'll be calling for Tua in probably three weeks, though, of course, in Miami. Yeah, Paul. It was funny. Uh, as they go to break, I think uh, they're like, Ryan Fitzpatrick tearing it up 11 for 11. The Miami Dolphins are up, blah, 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 blah. They go to break. It's a Tua commercial. Tua Tiger Vailoa <laughs> commercial for like uh, Gillette or something like that. So the starting quarterback for the Miami Dolphins has no commercials running during the game, but the backup quarterback does. Do you think somebody bought that knowing that week three – Tua will probably be in there, so we're gonna have we're gonna buy. It's like when they they buy uh, uh, who's our quarterback with the Cleveland Browns, Baker. Uh, Baker Mayfield. You know, hey, we're gonna buy all that ad time. You know, we're gonna buy commercial time with uh, with him late in the season, and then you tune in and you go, uh, this isn't. This doesn't look good. Yes, Todd. Yeah, and Bede's another one. You're constantly seeing that Mountain Dew. He's upset about his uh, his little <laughs> app, his gif, gif, whatever, and like the Sixers got nowhere near the finals. 